fridge is practically empty. It is time to go to the grocery store. And I thought that I would take you guys along with me, show you guys what I buy and how I plan my meals for the week. So let's go. back from the grocery store and now I'm gonna go over each items one by one. So let's start off with vegetables first. So these are our kitchen basics. All of these veggies are ones that we purchase week after week. We love the way they taste and you can make a variety of dishes using just this produce. Moving on over to carbs, we keep it pretty simple. Got some bread, tortilla wraps, a fun pasta shape, and of course, rice. This time around, I just got bananas for fruit we always get pasture-raised eggs. I believe this is the most ethical way to get eggs, so it's definitely worth the higher price tag. For our nut milk, we've got cashew. We switch a lot from almond or oat depending on our mood. For dairy products, Ben loves his sour cream and Parmesan cheese. We've got a few canned goods. We love our tomato sauce, black beans, coconut milk, and pesto sauce. And lastly, for protein, I've got tofu, impossible meat, and this corn meatless patties. So now the final thing I wanna prep for is my homemade dressing. I like to make my own and put it in this little jar over here. Luckily, my girl Emily has her cookbook and I have been loving to make her dreamy tahini recipe. This is what her cookbook looks like. So first I'm gonna put two and a half tablespoons of tahini. And then I'm gonna do two tablespoons of pickled jalapenos. I kind of just eyeball it. We're gonna need one lemon. I'm just gonna juice that in. I picked the worst lemon, what the heck? It is so dry. I'm gonna add a sprinkle of salt some pepper, a dash of garlic powder, Whoa. and then we're gonna do a little splash of olive oil, and then I just splash some water in there. And I'm just gonna put the dressing in this jar, and this should last me the whole week. And there we have the dreamy tahini. <laughs> bad avocado. Someone's got to eat it, you know? So for breakfast, I'm actually having a lunch meal. I'm back on my lunch for breakfast grind. Ben is actually having a proper breakfast. Yeah, I just had a big old run. So I, uh, I'm treating myself to a potato, some baked beans, some veggie sausage, egg, toast, the lot. All right, here is my breakfast. I'm having avocado cucumber radish wraps with seaweed. Yeah, I just woke up and I was like, I want lunch. I just plopped some brown rice. I'm gonna plop a cucumber, yellow radish, and a very fucking, these avocados are so brown. Okay, but bloop. I'm gonna roll this sucker up. Boom, we've got a hand roll. And I'm gonna dip it in this coconut amino sauce. Let's give it a go. This is just what I wanted to eat at 10 a.m. in the morning. All right, for lunch, I made myself a little veggie wrap. I used that corn chicken patty. It is so delicious. It tastes just like a, you know when you get like a McChicken? It's basically like a crispy chicken patty and it's so freaking good. I love putting it in this little veggie wrap situation. Just added a little bit of sriracha to give it a kick. This only took two minutes to make. It's a very fast, quick and easy lunch. Mm. I could have this for lunch like pretty much every day of the week.
up some tunjang jjigae. This has a lot of the ingredients that we bought at the grocery store. We've got the tofu, the onion, the potato, the zucchini. Mm. Ben and I just whipped up some pasta. We used half of the impossible meat. That's good. good. Mmm. For lunch, I'm having the last bits of my tenjang jjigae. Gonna enjoy the rest of this. Mmm. up a Thai green curry. Wow. Wow. Now we're gonna have this green curry to last for a couple of meals. Mmm. veggie wrap with the corn, corn chicken. This is like my favorite lunch to have, honestly. Mm. Mm. For dinner, I'm having the leftover Thai green curry with a little bit of salad. Oh, this looks so good. Mm. It is just as delicious as yesterday, if not better. Cause now everything's just like marinated more. avocado toast with tomatoes, red onions, and cucumber, and then Ben threw an egg on there. It's good. For 
lunch, I made myself a veggie chapche and a little side salad using the tahini dressing. This looks really good. Mm. Wow. I am craving something sweet, so I just blended that frozen banana with a little bit of frozen blueberries, which I found in the freezer. I topped it with some hemp seed and Lucky Charms that were in the pantry. Mmm. Whenever I'm craving ice cream or anything sweet, this is what I go for. For dinner, Ben and I are having taco veggie night. We used half of the impossible mince and we put the beans in as well. We've got the cilantro and lettuce. I've been loving this kimchi mayo sauce. Kind of got a tang to it, huh? Mm. Okay. 